Parkinson's is a terrible disease and it's increasingly prevalent because we as a species are living longer and here at Manchester uh, we may have come up with a way to detect it earlier which means there may be ways to then treat it and have a better outcome for the patient. There is a distinct odour which is associated with people with Parkinson's disease. I have a colleague and we were working with him on aspects of Parkinson's disease and he introduced me to a lady called Joy, Joy Milne. Her husband was a sufferer of Parkinson's disease, but nearly six years before he was diagnosed, she noticed he smelt differently. So at the moment, we're running a clinical trial where we're sampling from people who've just been diagnosed with, with Parkinson's to determine what the molecular composition is that gives rise to this smell. We had six people with Parkinson's, six without. One of the control subjects, she scored as a low hit for, as a Parkinson's sufferer. So that was a false result, an incorrect result, but we thought, but this is still a pretty good hit rate. Then, remarkably, about nine months after that, that person who was our control was diagnosed with Parkinson's. So one of the great beauties of this research is there's no way that you could have predicted this and it needed talented colleagues to recognise what this observation meant to see how it could be developed into a test that would help anybody suffering from this condition.